Hi there guys, Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here. Welcome to another video on the channel. Been out in the woods today, having a look around. Thought I'd take a shotgun with me. A friend of mine lent me this gun here. This is a, a really nice traditional English made shotgun, handmade, John Rigby & Co. 30 inch barrels, half choke on the right, full on the left, double trigger, has ejectors and automatic safety and a really beautiful engraving. The action on it for its age is as smooth as I've ever felt. Just sounds and feels wonderful. But uh, the video isn't about the gun, it's actually about something else. I'm going to leave that there. It's about a knife I've been using, a knife that I got given actually as a gift. And um, it's this one just here, you might have seen it on a recent video. I used it to skin a hair, but this is a lovely little neck knife. And I thought I'd just tell you how I'm getting on with it. For those of you who follow the channel, you're probably very familiar with the main camp knife that I use, and it's this one just here, the Fieldmaster knife. It's a collaboration knife between me and Lee from LB Custom Knives. I've probably been using it for a little over a year now. RWL34, full flat, although not a true full flat, flat as it does have a secondary uh, convex bevel just on the edge there. I get on with this knife really well, and um, so far it's done everything I want it to. Very good edge retention, and uh, I'm really happy with it. Dressed a few animals with it as well, done fish with it, and being RWL34, it's really good stainless, so I never have any issues with it. And when I'm out and about, and if I'm by the coast, for example, and I get worried about salt water, you know, those worries just aren't a problem anymore. I can put it away and just deal with it back at camp. So it gives me a lot of flexibility to have a fairly modern setup um, in a country where I have to deal with damp all the time. I've wanted a companion knife for a while and Lee knew that and I waited and waited and waited and when he told me he was making these for me and Megan I was over the moon and I was even happier when I saw it. It's a beautiful little thing set up as a necker, stitched with tiger thread, lovely thread, almost like a wax sinew. But if we pop this open you can see there's the knife and it's a really really nice piece of equipment. I've got on with this really well and it's got the same grind as my Fieldmaster knife. So you have a, an almost full flat with a secondary bevel, so you've got a lot of strength there as well. And uh, you'll notice a, a pattern on the actual blade. Mine's faded a bit because I've used it so much and cleaned the knife down, but you'll see that line there going all the way around and that's called a ham and finish. And it does a number of things. It gives it a nice pattern, but it also highlights the temper of the steel. So what we've got there, in this patch just here is we've got the softer steel and this line just along the bottom here and around the top is the harder steel and it really is a proof that the tempering was done you know really very accurately and Lee's heat treats are generally pretty renowned anyway he does a fantastic heat treat so I never had any doubts there but obviously it's nice to see that as well and it um, gives proof of the pudding really that the knife is uh, fit for purpose We've got the same jimping as well that we have on the field master there and um, nice short blade. I think this is about a three inch. This one's got red liners as well and 2000 year old olive wood. It was a bit lighter when it arrived but it's aging nicely now. Almost getting a natural patina to it which these sorts of things do. So overall I'm really happy with it. I think it's beautifully made and functional too which is uh, the two main things I look for in anything really. Well made attractive as well which is always nice isn't it when something looks good but function is is the main thing and really like this handle handle is, is really important on a knife I think it's actually one of the most important things on a knife when you pick a knife up and you hold it um, you don't even have to really look at it and you can tell straight away whether it's a, a good knife or not you can see some really bizarre handles on some things that you know they look cool but function is, is everything. You know, when you're using a knife for a very long time, let's say you're doing chest lever, if you add something sharp here, like a pummel, it's just gonna dig into your ribs all the time. Where there's a nice round handle like that, it just rolls off, you can work for a long time. Um, you can hold it in lots of different ways. You know, if you're scraping, you, know, you can use the foregrip technique. You can turn it like that, chest lever. You can cut towards yourself. You can do all sorts of things with it. Um, provided you're capable and it's a, a good little thing so appreciate that Lee and, and Megan appreciates it as well those are the two main knives that I use hopefully that answers a few questions I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you real soon in another video take care 